What's up nerds on Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Super Auto Battlemons. I can't get enough of this game. Why? Because it's fun. <laughs> it looks good. I just like it. This game will... It will be on the channel for a while, I would guess. And I mean, since I am in the Discord and I see when new announcements come out... I plan on just every time something cool, new, or some new cool thing happens, I just want to keep doing videos and stuff. Anyway, first things first. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Exactly, because in 2023, this year, I'm planning on going uh, ape shit, basically, and I wanna, I, I, I just wanna increase the goal by a lot and I want to say I want to get to 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. Anyway, I played this game like twice off camera. I would guess, yeah, it was like twice. And one time I, in the wild, found the level 3 crease. I can't remember what it was called. But I can tell you that thing alone, like it had a team, but after like a bit the whole team was down, it was just this thing. This thing alone destroyed my team. Like, it annihilated my team. Thing is, I did not really take a look at what the team was about. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I would say we go with ice. Like, yeah, let's go with ice. Um... None of those are ice. I think, yeah, Popeyes is the only one. And this is not a Popeyes. Whatever. Let's start the battle. Now, Kreese, as we know, grants 100 shield to front ally and gains 25% of shield as strength. Which means strength just deals... Uh, if In this case, you would gain 25 strength, which just d does 25 damage more. Grass water, I should have taken a look as always at what's up here, but it seems like there is no real ice around. Well, whatever. Let's see what else we can get. <clears throat> here we might actually go for another snows, I'm not sure. I don't have any idea what I want to do, I just, wanna, uh, I just know that I want Kreese to level up as fast as possible. So... Any chance I get to level it up or uh, give it EXP, I will take. We we could go for Snows, like I said, to increase this one's level sooner or later. Or we go for a Baleem in order to get water for the splash damage. Now, I don't really, I don't really feel the water this time. I've taken water too often. Let's see, what do we have Dusk? Dusk would also not be bad. Because Dusk makes it so that your units revive after death. Like they, of course, they revive after death. Why wouldn't they? Uh, but they revive with a certain amount of health. 200, 400 or 1,200. And that's quite good in some situations. Now, let's make it a little bit faster. Also, I don't know why, but for some reason my nose got a little stuffy over time today. And it sounds stupid to say I don't know why, because usually that means just your nose gets stuffy and you might get sick or whatever. But trust me, I won't get sick. Trust me on that one. I won't get sick. And just it was just stuffy for it's just stuffy for no reason. Do we really lose? I mean, I should have taken a fourth mon. I know. But yeah. All right, we're gonna go with the healer, I would say. And now we have two poison. I did not think about that. That's nice. Let's go to the random event. Ooh. I don't care for the physical type, so we're gonna go for regeneration and we're gonna go for the tank. Or rather, it, it isn't really a tank, it's more support because it doesn't have to get the shield. Anything else can get the shield. Now, do we keep Nog up front? I mean, it has 50 armor, so it's actually quite good. But only 500 HP, so that's actually not that good. Well, whatever. In this fight, of course, we're gonna take Kreese, uh, or after this fight, because we wanna level up ours as fast as possible. 
Oh, damn. But two, two Krees against you is pretty interesting because they both can shield the first one. And each of them gets a little bit of attack then. I mean, could we, like, win this somehow? Please? Maybe? No? Doesn't seem like it. I mean, Skimo is a pretty good healer, kind of, but it's just not enough. Wow, we suck. Okay, what else? Ice and grass, come on, give me... Yay, Corglu, nice. I'll take it, instead of knock. Because this one can shield allies, and this one shields the front allies. So, we just want the front ally to be slightly tanky, and then to get shielded. Quite a lot, hopefully. I think Kree's with either Ice for fast or with Lightning for more energy. Sounds pretty interesting. Or maybe even in a fire team. Grants strength and it grants itself strength. I don't know. I don't know what you would want. Oh, maybe. Wait. No, that's not that's not an an element that's an ability of some of the cat i forgot what the cat was called uh the fire cat thing fire dark dusk cat no so no 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 it was a different so, someone gives something frail or whatever it's called i think it was the cat whatever do we go to a rest area the answer is yes Ooh, unit gets an ice type if possible. Yes, please. Thing is, we cannot get four ice types currently. Because this one already has three typings. We might be able to switch it out for something that works better. I wouldn't know what it is. Let's go here. Schemo peeling. I mean, we're gonna take the schemo to level ours up. I guess. Alright. Popeyes. Really bad. Like. I mean. Most level 1s are. Pretty bad over time. By the way. Placation. Now grants 200 shield. And gains 50% of the shield. Wow. That's actually quite good. Alright. Yeah. Let's. I mean. We could. No. No. No, I much rather have, would have another poison type. I was about to say we could switch out Snymea for one of the other ones, but no. Okay, um, I mean, I would like to go to the rest area. But I think we're gonna go here to grass at dusk. We got Elstritch, we got Snymea. I think we're gonna go for the Elstritch. Because it's a freaking strong... A freaking strong monster that can heal and grant regeneration. We also want to somehow get our Popeyes to level 2 or switch it out to something different. Because I am not a huge fan of Popeyes. I love the idea of Popeyes. I love the Korglu, the Korgi Iglu evolution. But the mod itself, I'm not convinced at all is the problem. All right, uh, let's take the Skimu. Physical Thunder, that's a Pop Ice and a Korglu. It's something. What would we want technically? If we were to get rid of Snymea, we would want another Ice type. We don't have any Ice types there that we don't already have. We can take Korglu or Pop Ice. In both cases, it's going to be a Pop Ice. But that will all only increase our Pop Ice's EXP. Which is not bad. Like I said, I, I, I need it to level up because as a Korglu, it's uh, as a Pop Ice, it's really not good. At least in the current state of the game or in the current... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? At the current time. Okay, Thunder Dusk sounds good. Or Water Dusk. That has a 30% chance to find our... Starter, so let's go here. We didn't find it. Too bad. We could... Ah, we could go for this one because it's freaking strong. 
Problem is, it would take away our poison typing on Slamea, because that's the one that I would replace. Where do I replace Korglu? No, Korglu, Korglu is, I think, quite alright now. Or maybe not. I mean, it, it is weak against the enemy's attacks, so it makes sense that it would go down. And yeah, that's it. Target the lowest health enemy for 8 attacks, forcing allies to target them, deal 400 frail to the same target. Frail just means that the next time it gets attacked, it takes that much damage as well. I mean, look at that. It's 1 against 3 and our Blizzation just destroys him. I love it. Uh, we're gonna go for more Schemo. There's a technically a real possibility that we might that we might get it. Okay, can we do this? Yes. Does it stack? Yes. <laughs> it actually says starts with 20 region, 20 region. I hope that stacks in battle. I hope that it stacks in battle. All right, there's really nothing we need, technically. We cannot really do anything here. Wow. This guy's ability, where it just attacks the last enemy, is so amazing. I mean, this one, level 3, deals 1,200 damage to the furthest enemy. But, I mean, again, look at Blizzation. And yes, it stacks. This is amazing. That's actually really, really good. Just look at it. Alright. Do we go for Popeyes? I mean, we won't be able to level it up anyway. So I think it would be better to just go for another one. Put this away. Put this away. We can get Elstritch to level 3. We cannot get Blizzation. That sucks. Unit gains a toxic type if possible. Yes, please. No one is level 3 now. That's not what I wanted. Alright. Start battle. Regeneration. Strength. Strength. Splash. Splash. Decay on the enemy. Thorns. Thorns. Battery pack. Battery pack. Is it a a good idea to use the battery packs right away because they technically give you full energy or at least a lot of energy. I just don't know if it gets used up one after another or it's just it technically gives you full energy and then also gives you full energy. I should have also put Blizzation uh, in I guess the last slot because it is pretty much my strongest monster but I let it go down here. The other two are not nearly good enough to do anything here. Yeah, no. We're gonna start another run right away. Because again, I mean, in the future I might just go for short videos where I just go for one run and that's it. Every now and then, not every time. But right now I just think we need to try this again. Okay, there is at least two ice. But again, ice is... Pop ice is not really great. And here we would have toxic. That's not bad. Thunder and water. Thunder might actually be a better idea. Yeah, let's, let's try and go for thunder this time. Because on the tech grant all allies or grant allies energy. If we could get to three lightning uh, mons, that would be pretty good. If we could get to four, that would be amazing. Because if we can get Kreese to just keep on using its attacks, that just sounds really good. Uh, it's, its ability, not its attacks. I mean, technically it's, it's the same. Um, We're gonna go with... Dusk and Water. Oh, oh, wait, first rest area, of course. Unit gains toxic, we don't know what we will get. So, for now, get EXP. Technically, I want to go over here for thunder and physical. We only want it for thunder. 
but I also want to go to the random events and also I would much rather go for dusk water here in hopes for something that we didn't get. Damn. That sucks quite a lot. Although... No, wait. This is... Oh, wait. Yes. Apply 5 regen and grant 15 shield to all other allies. I mean, I know Frogling, the last time we tried using Frogling, it was pretty damn bad. But in combination with Crease... Like... This one gives a shield, this one heals, or gives regeneration, and also shields to all other allies. It's... it doesn't sound that bad. Thing is, those two, then Skimu, and also Believe, sounds quite interesting. Okay. Battle 1 of... oh, damn. Wait. Wait, 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 wait a second. First of all, this thing is double electric, but has its own ability. Apply 5 regen and grant 15 shield. Regen and 3 taunt, that's Believe's ability. Now, the question is, this one is double lightning. Does that count as 2 lightning here? I think we're gonna have to find out. We're gonna have to find out. Um... I think we're gonna take this one, though. I'm... I'm interested. I'm intrigued. I have no idea. So, let's find out together. Since it's been like my fifth or sixth time playing this game right now. No, it's a bit more. I'm not as familiar with all the ins and outs. So, there's quite a lot. And, I mean... Technically, it's impossible for regular, uh, for regular mons to be double type except for knock. Okay, I mean, and also this does not count the same as this frogling, so I can have two froglings in my party. Okay, I wanna, I wanna check it out. Does this count as? Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, it works that way. Oh, that is quite awesome. So they just apply region. We, everyone on attack grants five energy and on hit gain, gains fast. If we can give one of those to electric type or, or lightning type, sorry, or one of these two guys, ice type, we are in big business. I kind of love this. Let's see. Again though, this thing cannot get leveled up by getting anything because we cannot find a question mark, question mark, question mark again. That's exactly this because it's random every time. So the only th way to level this one up is by giving it like the 30 XP and getting rid of stuff here. Okay, let, let's see how things work out. Um, who's dealing... Oh yeah, he gives a whole lot of damage, right? Whole of... Wow, we... um Completely lost there. <laughs> uh, let's just go with this frogling, sure. Physical and Earth. Nothing that we need. So let's go for a random event. There's a 50% chance that we could gain Ice type. There's also a 50% chance that we could get Grass type. Which would give everyone region. Let's... Oh yes, oh yes, oh hell yes. Give me another Ice type. Uh, let's go go with this one because we could also get uh, an electric type due to the resting area and we couldn't give it to this one we would have to take one of these two so i'd rather give the ice type to this one that is already taken by crease toxic we don't care do we just level this one up no I want to level up Kreese. We won't 
Oh my goodness, that's two areas back to back. Um, but now let's do this. We won't get Blizzation to level three, I guess. So, wow, none of them. But there's a 10% chance here for a Frost Maul. Oh, wow. Deal 600 damage to the lowest health enemy and gain 100 rage and one multi-strike. Okay, multi-strike on attack, attack again, remove one stack. We know that. And rage plus two attack on hit, deal one damage to self. So, gain 100 rage. That means, I guess, that per stack you gain plus two attack. I kind of want that thing. I don't know what I would replace here. Probably the frogling. Not gonna lie, probably the frogling. And the pop ice is just useless, basically. <laughs> like, completely useless. We just... Yeah, we're, we're gonna lose again. That's fascinating. We got pretty much the worst team, I feel like. Okay, I want the frost mall. I should replace the pop ice. But then we would lose one lightning. I... And they... I mean, they only, quote-unquote, apply 10 regen and 30 shield to all other allies. That's pretty good. I have to replace Popeyes, I feel like. It's just really not good. Okay, let, let's go something like this, maybe. I don't know. Let's see if we can do anything here. Alright, we still have three ice, but we only have two lightning now. That sucks, I want more. But then again, I would love to have four lightning. That That's probably impossible. Uh, but hey, we seem to have... Won that one. That's nice. Give me one of the two rares. Give me berry. I like it. I like it very much. Ha 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 ha. Um, I should have taken a look at what we would have bought here. Earth air. Okay. Nothing. Nothing we need. So, I would say... We give you EXP. Again, I don't think it will be enough. Dusk and... Thunder, actually not bad. Air and water, actually better. Because of the 33% chance to find our starter. Which we didn't, but there was the chance. Okay, this one needs 10. This one needs way too much EXP. Let's get rid of it for now. Let's get rid of Nock. And now let's get rid of Tedum. Wait, there is a chance. There's one fight... Technically not of... Yeah, there is a chance we will get it to level 3. Will that work for us? I don't know. But deal 1,200 damage to the lowest health enemy and gain 200 rage. 200 rage. So 400 attack and one multi-strike. That thing... I I've seen it in a Discord that people say this thing is a little bit overpowered. And I mean... I think I see it. By the way, let's get rid of you. All right. Um, give me a random event. Oh, this could be interesting. Oh, that's a fully evolved one. I can't see the name of it, but yeah. Deal decay to all enemies, grant shield to all enemies, heal the lowest health ally and grant 40 regen. It's not bad, but I cannot use any of their... Any of their typings is the problem. All right. Uh, in the last, in the last rest area, right before the boss, we will see if we can give. If there's a type, if we could get a type that we don't need, of course, Blizzation will be level three. If there is, however, a chance to either get someone uh, lightning, or give someone lightning or ice, we'll definitely gonna do it. Okay, they're all level two. So, again, sadly nothing that I can use. Alright, Blizzation. 
I know a battle counts as 5 EXP, but a, a rest area I think doesn't, right? Like, just because you move through a... Oh, damn it. A rest area doesn't mean that you automatically gain EXP, right? Okay, we might go down. Let's just do some stuff because I really want to try and somehow win this. Or at least get to knocking. Okay, now, even if we lose now, we will only lose 10 health. Oh, but look, oh, we were so close. So close. Um, We're gonna go for Frost Mall. Not that it really matters. Earth type. Okay, we don't care about Earth type, so we're gonna get this to level 13. Crabaleer. Grant 400 shield to the front ally, gain 100% of shield as strength. That's a 400 strength bonus every time your ability activates and a 400 shield. While these guys give 30 shield. And if we had this one at level, at level 3, that would be... I don't know if I've ever seen that one, level 3, not even in the Discord at, on pictures. All right, let's start with putting everyone fast. Let's do some decay, splash, thorns, energy, strength. Because if we have energy, we can give this guy shielding. All right, first gnome or uh, uh, what what's it called? Knock, right? Gnome rock. It's a knocking. That much I remember. <laughs> Yeah, no, we're never... Wait? I mean, it's not looking as bad as it usually does. If we had some kind of healing left for Crabaleer, we would have somehow been able to crush it. Like, these two together are incredible. If we still had a third lightning, that would have not been bad. But... Yeah, I love it that these random guys actually count as two lightning. Anyway, that was a weird run, but an interesting run, not gonna lie. Thank you, nerds, so much for watching. Oops, I didn't want to press that. Anyway, thank you, nerds, so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus Nye. Gotta run. Bye-bye.